Let me put it this way. If you go to the central bank website, as of June, they will say that the public debt to GDP is about 70 something percent. But you see, that is misleading. That is complete misleading for a number of reasons. How? Number one, the debt stock itself, stock itself, excludes a number of debt. An example is that the central bank itself has lent to government and classify it as overdraft, mm. yet it is not part of the debt stock in question. Okay. So the 22 billion that the central bank has given to the government excludes, it's not in the debt stock, so you have to add it back. If you have to add Esla, Sino Hydro, and Dutch Bond and Road Fund, the amount in question is far more than what they have quoted as the nominal debt number. Okay. Then again, the issue of expressing this as a percentage of GDP. You know what they do all, all this time? You see, when you are comparing, you compare like with like. Mm -hmm. You have projected GDP for end year 2022. Mm -hmm. And you have the actual debt. So you have actual debt as of June, and you are using it to compare a projected GDP for December. Okay. So the denominator is bigger, it's overstated. So okay. what you should have done is that they should have compared it to projected GDP for the same period of June. Mm -hmm. So the number is misaligned. Okay. And that turn there is misleading and have consistently raised an issue with it. I had calculated, and I recall two weeks ago, I had come out to say that Ghana's public debt as a percentage to our GDP by end year is, is somewhere around 100%. Okay. I said this because per my own model, I have added all of this hidden debt, the debt that they have put under lock and key in a cupboard and some of them under a sofa. <laughs> I brought all of them out and added them to the public debt and I had about 100%. Okay. So I'm not surprised that the World Bank is coming out with this. Maybe because it's World Bank, people are listening more. Mm -hmm. We have been saying this thing all along and that is why today I can boldly say that from the numbers I have seen, and by calculating Ghana's ability to pay, mm. our debt is simply unsustainable. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm. We can talk about it, but in the end, we'll come back to the same thing and say that our debt is simply unsustainable. You can use any model. It's not.